Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver and my Model Fire Challenge. And it's time to hit up the underground. Now, sadly, I never cleared out the trainers down here, so we're going to have to just take them out as we go. Thankfully, there's only going to be a couple that are going to be in our way to getting to the main event, as it were. But I'm still not going to be particularly happy with the fact I'm going to have to take out this guy and his slow poke and stuff like that. Because they're not really much of a threat. To me, anyway. Maybe to, um... Bridget here, because she doesn't know much of anything, but I think a level advantage here might be enough for me to get by. One down. Let me guess, this other Pokemon's also a Slowpoke. Figures. Okay. Some more punching. For Pokemaniacs, they don't seem to collect much um, variety in their Pokemon, do they? You can't do tell me it's a stylistic choice like myself, really. They're maniacs, they collect whatever they can get their hands on. Or at least that's how I view it. A maniac named Donald. Seems relatively fitting considering what's been going on lately. Oh, I know them. For the most part. I just haven't been using them. On the grounds that I'm um, a bit nuts myself, I suppose. Level 7. You insult me, sir. I know I sent the pass through here earlier, but that was insulting even for the time. Okay, let's see what your Voltorb's got. Oh, another fire punch. Level 11, that's a bit better. Mm. Uh, that was a bit of a waste. Whatever. Come on, show me something useful, nerd. You disappoint me. Your strongest Pokemon was a level 11 Voltorb. That's just sad. Okay, now the nerd's out of the way. Let's switch back to, um, Renamon. Because I'm pretty sure a rival is gonna jump us almost as soon as we get in here. Yeah. Hold it! I saw you, so I tailed you. I don't need you underfoot while I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second. You beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke. But I repay my debts. What, trying to pull off the, um, Pride of Vegeta here or something? A Saiyan Prince must always repay his debts by defeating his rival for saving his life. Ah, starting off with Golbat, eh? wonder if he was going to try and use the same move. Guess we'll never know. Um, flamethrower. Um, yeah. Now I'm the one that has to worry if I'll land a hit or not. Or I'm going to have to switch out. Uh, okay. Ouch. That stung, man. But, Gobot's down. Ooh, two Pokemon gotta level up. One fight. Nice. Okay. Do I want to go with Lehman and try and do some mud slapping, or do I want to go with Ramon and use some Confuse Rays here? I'll try Flamon. A Battle of the Starters. Seems like a good matchup choice. I 
I always went for speed lowering. Clever, clever. This isn't gonna really work very well on taking him out, but I can try and blind him. Man, I'm having no luck with the accuracy lowering on this battle. I can't really get for alligators accuracy much lower than I've got at this point. Um, strength. Ah! Jeez. Well, we made a comeback. Luck turned in our favor near the end there, but dang. Yeah, we're gonna switch back over to Renamon. She has Dig after all. Makes sense to put her out there. Why do people that use Hunters always use, like, Curse and stuff, like, first move? And it just knocked itself out. The only thing I managed to do is force me to have to switch Pokemon on my next move. This probably ain't gonna turn out well. I mean, there's a 10 level gap. There's only so much I'm gonna be able to do with having a type advantage here on my punches, but maybe it'll be enough. I went for paralysis? Okay, that may pay off for it. No, it didn't. I figured it would've been faster than me. I guess Magma has pretty low stats. Guess the see right here is to get evolved into Magneton as quickly as possible. Hmm. I don't like the coloring on Sneasel here, man. Ah, I missed on your defense lowering there. Why bother quick attack? You're faster than I am. Whatever. Please hit yourself. Yes! Now I douse you in some flames. Oh, I guess I could have taken out faster with just going straight up flamethrower on it, huh? I sometimes forget Sneasel's typing. So why do I lose? It's because you don't love your Pokemon enough. I don't understand. So what Lance, that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokemon properly? Love? Trust? Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I, I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up on my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Wonder how many, um, super potions I got in hand right now. Well, five. Okay, we'll use one flame on, if not two. Um, use a few berries here. Or one berry, I guess. I'm not too worried about getting. Bridget back into the fight. She's probably not going to see any more action for a while until I do some grinding on the side. I may have to consider what I'm going to do when I get up against Claire, to be honest. I may have to pick up a bunch of um, stat boosters in town and prepare for that fight. Hmm, I'll go with Headbutt. No, I'm sorry, Flamethrower. Stick with Stab, right? That's all you had? No, I could mess around with the shutters a bit to get all the items and stuff out of here, but I'm not too worried about that. Sorry. Shouldn't be rubbing my nose, I guess, while I play, right? Um, let's see. A muck. Hmm. Well, I don't have any advantage on dig for a stab move, and I doubt it's gonna do a ton of damage here, so I'm far off probably with flamethrower anyway. 
Nice. A coughing? Man, I've seen enough of these things for a lifetime considering the end of the last episode. Five of them on one trainer. Seriously, who needs that many coughings? Unless you're trying to defeat the game with all of the same Pokemon. I know people that do that stuff. I mean, it's one of the challenges out there. Another favorite's like only using one Pokemon or mild challenges or Nuzlocke and stuff like that just to make the game a bit harder. Hmm. Honestly, I wish the game would show you what Fire Spin's power and stuff was because I don't think it's going to be any better than um what I got here. No. It's long-term damage isn't as useful, in my opinion, as dealing for a direct head-on fire blast with flamethrower. <laughs> Fine by the shutters, are we? I'll let you on a secret if you can beat me. Well, I'm not too worried about being able to beat you, so let's see what you got. Another coughing? I know they're Team Rocket and they love poison Pokemon, but can, can't they grab an Eridos or, or something? Like, get something better than simply coughing. I mean, dang. I've only seen a couple Ekans, like, use that. What's with this favoritism towards poison types you can only find in the um, mansion in the last game, basically? I'm not particularly fond of poison types in general. It's one type I don't know if I'd even consider doing a mod run for, even if I thought they had the ability to turn up on top. I still don't favor them that much. Now, if I remember correctly, I gotta do the switches this way. Three, two, then one. Otherwise, we may be here a while as I play with the switches to get them opened up the way I need to. But I'm pretty sure this will do it. Leftover loot, eh? Okay, little thief. Let's dance. Eddie. Are his friends named Ed and Double D? Dig. How you like that, Growlithe? Takedown. Hmm, interesting choice there. I'm not particularly fond of takedown since it does as much since it hurts the person that uses it. But I suppose if you didn't have any other options, it wouldn't be too bad. So like coughing gets a bit better in the third generation since you get abilities. And coughing's ability is it floats, so it can be hit with ground type attacks. Which takes care of one of its weaknesses. Which is always a good thing to have an ability, right? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so we have to fight the other burglar, too. Fork over my goodies? You fork over yours, pal! I know I shouldn't encourage thievery, but I don't have much, um. moral, um. a moral compass when it comes to stealing from a thief, you know? Those who steal from others shouldn't complain when they get stolen from themselves. A Magmar, eh? Bring the heat now, huh? Oh, this with the poison attack. Ah. So mean. Trying to poison my little Ramon. Nope, we'll leave Ramon out there. She's just kicking all the boys' butts today. Okay. Uh, mercy. 
Man, he was carrying a massive lot of cash there. Okay, we'll keep the full hill for now. Maybe we should switch out. Roman has taken a bit of a beating here so far. No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look on your face. I'll give you something to be scared about. <laughs> you and whose army? Team Rocky Grunts have been very underwhelming to me so far. Ah, Gloom. So scary. I'm a fire trainer, lady. You can't scare me with no stinking Gloom. If you want to scare me, you should throw out Squirtle. Or better yet, a Blastoise. Oh, another Gloom? What are you going to do, you scary face? You ain't got that long to live, Gloom. And Gloom is out of there. How could I? Because you're weak, that's how. I'm coming through here, I gotta find the director. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Not even brats. That's my line, loser. Let's see what you got, though. Ooh, a giant rat. Unless you named it Splinter, and it's a master of martial arts, I don't care. Or a master of ninjutsu. See what I mean? No power. Oh, it's Golbat. Well, assuming it survives this hit, which it probably will, it can at least throw out Confuse Rain and be annoying. Well, I guess I'll switch out. You can do it, Susie. That was weak. Doesn't help that they're so substandard in comparison to my own levels. Even my rivals basically got, hasn't gotten that much stronger since we last fought at all. It was rather underwhelming a match, to say the least. The only one that was even somewhat interesting was the match against for Alligator. And that's sort of just sad. Well, that's nice. I don't remember you any, because you guys don't have any distinct names. You're just a sea of faces with nothing to go, f nothing else attached to you. It's like they clone all their minions or something. Well, Grimer's out. Well, at least it's an evolved Pokemon, I'll give it that. Not that that's gonna help it much. And Weezing's out of there. Okay. Yeah, that's how it is. Man, there's a lot of people trying to stop me from talking to the director to get that freaking card. Okay, what well, you got, Grunt? Another coughing. Get some more variety to your teams, Team Rocket. It make you a bit more effective as an evil organization. I know I shouldn't be giving you guys ideas on how to take over the world, but... I feel just tired of seeing all these freaking coughings. They're like everywhere. And they're not even that strong. Ooh, a thousand Poké Dollars, though. Ooh, TM35. Whatever that is. Let's talk to the director here, though. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower. What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket? Here, take this card key. I could join with you, but I'm too afraid. 
Use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower. And all the Pokemon nationwide. You can't call on the Elite Four? Apparently Lance does a lot more in this game than just sit around on the top of the, um... End of it. Oh, I can't carry anything else? Let's see. Oh, I can... Use this. I don't need to, but I'll use it anyway. Hmm, I'm gonna put this on. Hmm. We'll give it to Ramon. She tends to lead most fights anyway, so it makes sense to give it to her. Anyone else gonna try and stop us? I mean, why is that item over there? You can never seem to get to it. Or those items. Must be a secret entrance somewhere in the underground or something. But I suppose next time we'll head over to the radio tower to f finally finish things with Team Rocket. Till then, see ya.